Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Complete Sets. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Talrasha's Wrappings. Uh, Talrasha's Wrappings is a sorceress set, as you can see, because it includes a sorceress's orb. An orby orb from Orby Town. And as you can see, uh, it's a very purple and sort of greeny set. And uh, when I put on the full set, you get a glowing effect around your character. So very interesting there. Um, the glowing effect doesn't really do anything, but uh, it's very interesting. Um, also, it's very interesting to note that uh, Talrash's belt is uh, one of the few magic find items in the game that uh, offer magic find. So the belt, um, other than the gold wrap belt, this is one of the only other magic find belts in the game. So very interesting. And of course, you know, you also get more magic find by the partial set bonuses. So. I think gold wrap is a little bit better uh, up by itself, whereas Talrasha's is a little better, um, you know, in the set. So the first piece we're actually going to talk about is the belt. Um, uh, Talrasha's fine spun cloth mesh belt uh, with a defense of 100, a uh, required strength of 47, so very low, a required level 53, plus 22 dexterity. Not re really sure why any dexterity is a Sorceress, 32 mana, 37 to uh, percent of damage taken goes to mana, 15 percent better chance of magic items and requirements, negative 20 percent. Uh, two item bonus is 60 defense, and the three item bonus is 10 percent faster cast rate. So very nice there for a sorceress. Uh, I guess uh, dexterity would help you out with your block chance if you wanted to build block chance for your sorceress. Uh, next on the list is Talrasha's Education Amulet. Uh, Tarash's Education Amulet is plus 2 to Sorcerer's Skills, 3 to 32 Lightning Damage, 50 to Life, 42 to Mana, Lightning Resist 33%, and that is all static with a uh, set bonus of 4 items gives you 10% faster cast rate. So not something you're going to be able to get unless you're using multiple pieces. Uh, next on the list is the Talrasha's Lidless Eye. Talrasha's Lidless Eye is... The Whirling Crystal, uh, which has a 20% faster cast rate and a level requirement of 65. Uh, plus 2 to Cold Mastery, plus 2 to Lightning Mastery, plus 2 to Fire Mastery. Uh, which do vary from 1 to 2, so you can find a pretty crappy Talrasha's Lidless Eye. Of course, if you are a Sorceress, chances are you're probably building into one particular tree. Or at the very most, two trees. So you really only need the one that you're interested in, or the ones that you're interested in to be plus two. So, you know, if you were a cold slash fire sorceress, you would want two fire, two cold, and then you wouldn't really care about the lightning, and so forth and so on. So, you know, you wouldn't necessarily need a perfect one um, unless you were going to build all three trees. Now, this could be a very interesting uh, build for a a sorceress who is building all three masteries without the skills. I actually like to call them elementresses, so that would be very interesting for an elementress. Uh, we also have plus 10 to energy, plus 57 to life, plus 77 to mana, and uh, of course you can throw a socket in there. Uh, we also get uh, set bonuses, so for two items you get plus one to all sorcerer skills, so not bad. For three items you get plus negative 15% to enemy fire resistance, for three items, you get a negative 15% to enemy lightning. And for four items, or sorry, four items is the lightning. And for the complete set, it's uh, negative 15, or plus 15% cold skill damage. So interesting there. And uh, the next item on the list is Talrasha's Guardianship, which is the plate armor. Uh, this one is 941 defense with a strength requirement of 84, so uh, not very high at all. Required level 71, so pretty pretty high level set here. And I believe that's the highest requirement piece. Yes, that's the highest piece. So this set is level 71. Uh, we also have plus 400 to defense, cold resist 40%, lightning resist 40%, fire resist 40%, so not bad there. Magic damage reduced by 15, 88% uh, better chance of magic items, which uh, is static. Requirements negative 60%, which will help you put this plate on. Um, you know, it comes to my mind that because a lot of these pieces have negative requirements on them, you can pretty much use them on anybody. Um, so interesting. 
The uh, set also has a two set bonus of 10% faster cast. So we're looking at a lot of faster cast here. We'll add it all up when we're done. Uh, so that's very interesting. And then the last on our list of items is the Talrosh's Herodric Crest, uh, which is the helmet. So 31, uh, 131 defense has a uh, strength requirement of 55 and a level requirement of 66 with 10% mana steal, 10% life steal. So dual life leech there. 45 to defense, 60 to life. It has uh, 30 to mana, all resistance is 15 with no uh, no extra effects. So faster cast, we're looking at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 50% 50 faster cast. That's, uh, that's a pretty high amount of faster cast. And of course you can stack that on with other faster cast equipment as well. So very interesting. Uh, we also have plus two to sorcerer skills here. You've got um, basically, you know, plus two to all your masteries there. Um, you get plus one from your actual sorceress skills. So you got, that's two and then three. And then you get three on the full set bonus. So that's six. So you're getting plus six uh, from the set, which isn't bad. And then you get plus two to your masteries. So that's seven, eight. That's plus eight to your masteries. That's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Now let's take a look at the full set bonus. So the full set bonus is plus three to sorcerer's skills, plus 25 faster hit recovery. Half, half faster hit recovery is always nice to have. Plus 150 to defense, 50 defense versus missile, plus 150 to life. Replenish life plus 10, all resistances 50%, and then 65% better chance of magic items. So we've got 15% uh, magic I find on the belt, got 65% on the full set bonus, and then we've got 88% on the armor. And uh, let's take a look here, just to double check. So you don't get the 85% with two pieces. Let's try three. Uh, sorry, 65%. You get the 65% with two pieces. That's not bad. So that means you're getting the 15% uh, off of the belt, the 88% off of the armor, and the 65% from the full set bonus with only three pieces of Talrashas. So if you put on the Talrashas amulet, the Talrashas armor, and the Talrashas belt, that's a pretty uh, hefty amount of uh, magic find there. You're talking about uh, 65 plus 15, so that's what, 80%? And then 88 plus 80, so that's 168%. So 168% magic find uh, from wearing three pieces of the set. That's not awful. Um, and then you could stack on magic find in other locations. Um, you know, you could also wear the full set bonus and get your 185. And then you could put like a P gem in here. And then you could maybe put on a, a rhyme shield or something over here. Uh, some chance guards or whatever other magic find equipment you happen to have. Maybe some nagel rings. And uh, I think you could probably get that up to 400%. That's not awful. And, uh, you know, the negative uh, to lightning and uh, fire resistances and stuff, you know, happens at rather low numbers. So, I mean, you could get the negative 15% uh, lightning resistance with only uh, four pieces. You can get the negative fire resistance with only three pieces. And the plus one to all skills with only two pieces. So even if you were just using the amulet and the uh, Talrosh's orb, you would still be getting a plus three to all skills, which isn't awful plus the Cold Masteries. That's a very interesting set. Uh, and of course you get that nice glowy effect. All in all, I can definitely see arguments for using um, some of these pieces. You know, even individually, the plus two to all skills would be nice to have. The 50% faster cast rate is nice. It's definitely geared toward a sorceress. I'm not sure about that dual life leech. I don't know why you'd be beating people with your wand, but I guess if you really, 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 really need some mana, I don't know. Ah. Seems rather weird. Um, you know, it does have that replenishes life, which is nice, and the 150 to your, your maximum life, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's take off a piece that doesn't have any resistances on it. So, this one. So, we're looking at 55 fire, 55 cold, 75% lightning, and 15 poison. And then when you put the full set bonus on, you're getting 75, 75, 75, 65. Uh, because that plus 50 is capping everything out. So you're probably looking at around 105 fire, 105 cold, um, even more lightning. So lightning is actually going to be like 100, 
And uh, what, 133%, I think, is what we're looking at. Yeah. 133% lightning. And then, of course, 65% poison. So, very good. Nice on the resistances for, for a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 piece set. And you still have your gloves, two rings, your boots, and your shield to work out the rest. Um, as always, if you're interested in finding this set, uh, down in the description, I will have a link to my Magic Find video. As well as, um, you know, I'll go over how to tell you, you know, where to find the item, where not to find the item, you know, what the best places to farm are, the item level, the Q level, the A level, the treasure class, so forth and so on. I go over all that. Uh, I also provide some extra links to, you know, various places so you can look up the information yourself. And um, as always, thanks for watching and uh, keep watching. Thank you.